wanted to share something with you guys uh, about uh, magnetism and how um, how electricity is produced simply by magnetic movement. See, uh, we all know about about this. When you pass a magnet <clears throat> over a coil, we get uh, electricity production. We all know that. It needs to be a magnet running over a coil. But <clears throat> when you prep a coil with magnetism, <clears throat> there's two magnets here, and, you, and it's, it's attached to a coil. <clears throat> To the iron part of the coil, okay, <clears throat> and uh, not too many people know this, but <clears throat> you can make electricity simply by moving uh, <clears throat> the magnetic <clears throat> flow that's already in here. Like it's already prepped, it's already prepped, it's already in here because of the magnets that are down here below. So you can take something that is non-magnetic something that's non-magnetic you can take it and you can make electricity even though it's not a magnet what you're doing is this is full of magnetism and when you bring a piece of metal uh, ferromagnetic metal and make it touch right here you're allowing it to flow out so the flow is what causes the electricity. The movement, anytime, anytime this in here moves, it cr creates electricity. This is a piece of plastic. Okay, <clears throat> it's, we're not even touching it. This is not magnetic. <clears throat> this is a piece of tube to take uh, spark plugs out. See, non-magnetic piece of plastic we're producing electricity without actually having a, a magnet move over the coil so unlike the normal way where we have a, a magnet coming over a coil we're not even using a magnet we're using a piece of metal because the, the, the magnetism wants to flow out so what you're doing is this is the plump plumbing work for magnetism anything made out of metal uh, ferromagnetic will cause this to move inside here the movement causes the electricity let me give you another example <clears throat> this this comes from a, a hair cutter please piece a men's hairstyle Piece. It's a piece of metal. It's non-metallic. I mean, uh, non-magnetic. Again, I'll, I'll prove it to you. It's non-magnetic, but yet it 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 makes electricity. Simply by providing a path. Out. your magnet is here and it's already inside your uh, nucleus inside your core it's already there it's ready to come out so uh, here's another demo it's it's just a tube again non-magnetic and this time let's make it a little harder uh, this is a piece of stainless steel that I used to make HHO Stainless steel, right over that, and watch this. Again, piece of metal, non-magnetic. Look at the projection. Why is this producing more electricity than a little piece like this? You have more outward flow. Okay, this, is, this piece is longer. So you're going to get more production because there's more flow outwards. So guys... My point is, the more flow that you give the magnets, the more electricity you're going to make. So here we go again. 
Why does this produce so much electricity? It's longer. That's why. Um, here's a short piece again. Not, not too bad. Okay, a short piece. Uh, here's a, a bicycle wrench. Producing electricity. A bicycle wrench. Only because it's allowing the flow to come out. <clears throat> so, so think of it as a, <clears throat> a water pump full of water. It wants to come out. And you have to give it a way to come out. And that's what you're doing with this. You're allowing it to come out. When it does so, you create a movement inside here, inside the coil, and that produces the electricity. Okay? Uh, you can even go a step further than that. <clears throat> Put these magnets in, in opposition where, where it's almost floating. Okay, see this? Okay, let me see it with show you with that. Watch. It's almost floating because it's negative against, uh, north against north. So let's go a step further. Watch this. You got a north against the north. It almost floats. It almost floats. So there's there's not going to be any drag. <clears throat> so let's say you make a, a wheel based on this that goes all the way around. They're, they're going to be practically floating. Okay, and then when they run past it, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. Lots of electricity. The more you extend it out, the more electricity. So now let's let's use that same little short pipe with a magnet. See what happens now. Wow, you get a lot more electricity. So folks, uh, if you're going to take something home with you, take this. It's the movement of magnetism around a coil is what causes electricity. Just the movement. Okay, just moving it up and down. So that's what I'm doing here. It's it's not even magnetic, but we're moving the the magnetic flux. We're moving it. Okay. Now what hap uh, what happens with when you use a, a ring magnet? See, but uh, it's it's more effective with just a piece a piece of tube. See that? That's a generator, guys. There's no lens because it's just a piece of a, a, a metal. So it's neutral. But it still generates electricity just as well. Okay, um... Let's see, I, I had a CD somewhere. A CD. Learn about the United States. Okay, I hope the government doesn't get me for this. But see that? It goes right through it. So uh, go home with this. You don't need another magnet to create electricity. You just need to allow it to flow out through the pipe or whatever. A bike wrench. Yeah. Piece of metal. Any anything you can think of, it's gonna create electricity as long as you let it flow out. <clears throat> okay? A whole piece of junk. See how it wants to float push out? It almost wants to float out of my hand, but I, I have to hold it down. See what, what beautiful production we get? Okay, folks, that's it. The better lighting, it, uh, the last one I made was terrible. Uh, the lighting was at 3 o'clock in the morning, so uh, this is a little bit better. You can see everything now. Okay, thank you.